Hello everyone. Today is Friday, January 21st, 2022. Fight Against Terrorism, ECCAS Heads of State Determined to Eradicate the Phenomenon. And this article is taken from Journal du Chad. The curtains closed on January 19th, 2021 on the 20th Summit of Heads of State and Government of ECCAS in Brazzaville. The participants intend to pull efforts to counter terrorism and maritime insecurity. And if I remember correctly, ECCAS is a community uh, of African nations and is from roughly from Congo in the south to Chad in the north. And it goes through the center of, of uh, Africa. The uh, DRC is a part of it. The CAAR is a part of it. And I believe Gabon is a part of it. And uh, excuse me, I might be missing a couple uh, nations, but uh, it's a it's a slightly different. It's not ECOWAS. It's not you know. It's it's none of those. It's it's a different community for for a different purpose. At the end of the twentieth ECCAS summit, the participants asked the African Union to organize as soon as possible an extraordinary meeting on terrorism, violent extremism, and cross border insecurity. Also, the organization of an international maritime conference to fight against maritime insecurity. The Brazzaville summit was also interested in the transition in Chad. I don't know what that's all about. Sorry. But it's interesting that this is exactly what I've been calling for since I started my my news channel that uh, I don't know if we're on the same page. Obviously, we're on the same page to to some degree. But <clears throat> excuse me, my 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 take was the African Union needs to get together, call it a, a special meeting, and talk about um, how to tackle the the uh, insurgencies in Africa, in Somalia, in Nigeria, in Mali in Central African Republic, Mozambique, et cetera, uh, D, uh, DRC. I said this, I've been saying this for the past few months, that the uh, African Union needs to call a special meeting and figure out how to do this. And you know what I said? And, and I'm sure it will happen one day. It's not gonna happen anytime soon, I don't think, unless they know something I don't know. This is what I've been saying. The peaceful nations that don't have insurgencies, Liberia, Gabon, Botswana, etc., Congo, okay, they need to get their active duty troops and send them to uh, nations, African nations that do have insurgencies, like Nigeria, um, uh, Niger, and uh, Mali, and Somalia, etc. More boots on the ground will mean fewer attacks by insurgents and more uh and 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 the ability to to exterminate these insurgencies if you do it right okay anyway i digress let me get back to uh this paragraph in the end communique eccas invites the au to organize the day after the next ordinary au summit scheduled for February 5th and 6th, 2022 in Addis Ababa, an extraordinary session on terrorism in accordance with the decision of the general meeting of the union taken in February, 2020. The Conference of Heads of State and Government also calls for speeding up the establishment of the police and judicial cooperation mechanism, the Committee of Wise Men, as well as the sub-regional Center for Studies and Coordination of the Fight Against Terrorism, Violent Extremism, and Cross-Border and Transnational Crime in all these forms in Central Africa. And um, 
what I give, what I, what I see that's very important from my vantage point as a retired military police is the necessity for the African continent to uh, have its police forces and judicial systems coordinated. In other words, I'll put it very uh, briefly, get be on the same page when it comes to reporting crimes and so forth. You know, uh, forgive me for not remembering the name. Uh, we even operated on it when I was in Washington, D.C. at the Pentagon. Uh, it's, uh, it's from the EU, you know, from, from Europe. I can't remember the name of it. Where, you know, they're all on the same page and, you know, you, you go to it and then, you know, the site or whatever, and then, they, uh, you know, any kind of crime that, that happened uh, in the uh, nations of these uh, member states, uh, information will come up. So the same thing should happen on the African continent, as well as a judicial system where the, the laws are the same, so people are pun punished the same. So if something happens in, in small Liberia, the punishment will be the same as if it happened in, say, Angola or, or South Africa. The Conference of, that's what I'm getting. I don't know if that's what they mean, but that's what I'm getting from it. The Conference of Heads of State and Government also calls for speeding up. I already went over that. The meetings were also an opportunity for Dennis Sasu Gueso to pass the torch. I think he's the... Uh, the president of, of the Republic of Congo, to pass the torch to his counterpart, Felix Shisekedi, new president of ECCAS. And we know President Shisekedi is from the DRC.